All right, so we linked up with Mark and Tim over at Admiral Marine Group, which is the exclusive dealer for the Tag 360 catamaran. It's kind of new cat out on the scene, but an absolute beast. We saw it once at Fort Lauderdale in the boat show, but it was just sitting still. Today, we're gonna be able to run it around a little bit and actually put it through the paces and get into real detail. So we hope you guys enjoy this video. Like and share if you find value in this content. So let's get to work. be able to put some gear dock lines things of that nature those are finished boxes and we have this right here which is a step up this is unfinished this they just used it if they were to put a finish in there it would probably eliminate most of that space so they leave it like that to just give you some more storage so as you can see this is a 12 foot beam and that 12 foot beam runs almost all the way up to the bow here so for a 36 foot center console feels much bigger as you know you we're used to with, with catamarans see this large lounger up here check out the size of this cooler it is absolutely massive so if you're going offshore fishing and you have 60 80 pound yellowfin tuna you're not going to have any problems sticking in here and then you got a nice lounger space to run on the boat you can run on here and probably you know two to four foot seas with absolutely no problem on a cat like this one got rod holders on both sides as you can see with what looks like a 30 degree decline so it doesn't store water there and actually opens up a little bit of space taking off a slight bit off this console width now this is a huge storage box all right pass me this let me show you the other side here i think it was all the way up towards the bow so it's hard to gauge exactly the size of this thing but i mean it is massive that's what you get on catamarans both sponsons pretty much give you a tremendous amount of storage and this boat holds about 545 gallons of fuel so great range and capability on a 36 footer as well actually let's pop on your side so they have a nice thick cap as you can see real sturdy hefty boat but capable of you know impressive speed with the quad 400s and the jack plates underneath here as well they have a little bit of storage for you know dock lines flip flops things of that nature so they utilize uh, that space there, which otherwise you wouldn't even know exists. It's a good little detail. So they got some cup holders. Something that's pretty cool here, they have fuel fills for both tanks on either side. So from this side, you can fill the port and starboard tank. And from the starboard side, you can also fill the port and starboard tank. So small detail, but something that definitely comes in handy when you get to the fuel dock and don't have to spin the boat around. So here we have the console cabin space as we're used to with catamarans. Obviously we have the tunnel underneath. so. It is a smaller space, but you do have room for a head. Otherwise, this is a quality storage space. You have access to your rigging. All right, so let's work our way up to the helm area. We have two 19-inch Simrad MFDs. Your switch panel integrated right here. Wet sounds, head unit, vessel view. 
We have Optimus 360 on this boat. Here are your controls for your two jack plates, autopilot off to the left, your manual control for the MFDs down here, your throttle, your mic for your VHF, and a little bit of storage space, which is always nice to have for your keys, your wallet. And you have a nice console space up top here. They put like a decking material to be able to hold your phone, as you can see. This little detail, small, but very, very useful. And then just a piece of icing glass up on the front so you get a nice brisk air access to your batteries right underneath the leaning post. Seating for two, but you could likely fit more than this. It's a nice width to it. Right underneath you, Eric, before we go, uh, we have a good amount of storage for your Plano boxes. Your fuel filters right here. You got that starboard as well. An in-deck live well, which is about 35, 40 gallons to complement your 55 gallon live well back in the transom area. And then you got your fish boxes back here as well. You got a fender to kind of gauge some size to this, but really nice size fish box here. Additional storage, you also got port and starboard. And we'll make our way here to the uh, leaning post, which hidden behind the backrest, you have more tackle storage, so you have a great amount. Let me see if we have, oh wow, we'll get to that, yeah. So there's a ton of tackle storage. Obviously these boats are built to fish, as you can see the rod holders, check out this piping right here. It has a nice ergonomic design to it. Then you can pretty much get all your rods up there if you need to. Pop this open and you have your rear facing bench seat cooler. Now this is being used as storage right now on their demo boat for today, but obviously you can put your food, drinks, hold ice all, all day there with absolutely no problem. Right here we got the port side insulated cooler. We have that on the starboard side as well. And you have, again, 55 gallon live well down the center. Quad 400s, and you can see they're on two jack plates. Optimus 360 joystick as well. So not only can you adjust the trim on the engine itself, but you can adjust the height depending on what conditions you're running in and what you're doing. Um, you can get yourself to the optimal running conditions. So actually we'll continue over this way. Let's see what we got in this box. Another in-deck live well for an additional 35, 40 gallons. So three live wells in this one in particular, two in-deck, one transom, and then Again, matching the port side on the starboard side, you got another tackle station here. So all in all, good sized boat, very impressive. You see actually they have these uh, exploding fish adjustable rod holders. This is something we're gonna be working with, working on here in the near future. They haven't had a chance to use it yet, but we're gonna definitely keep up with them to see how those things do. gets up and goes 
obviously the quad 400s on jack plate so not only can you adjust the trim of the engine itself but you can adjust the height which really improves your performance depending on what you want to do and your overall seat conditions Impressive ride on the TAG 360. Quad 400s on this boat with the jack plates are incredibly powerful. I mean, we'll be at 40 miles an hour and just tap the throttles and you'll be at 50 like this. The acceleration is incredible. 12 foot beam is amazing. This, it's incredibly spacious as you can see for a 36 foot boat. And the cats give you that. The performance the cats give you is also great. The guys at Admiral Marine Group do an excellent job with this product and we'll link you up again in the info below with their details in case you want information. So another great cat for you guys to consider. This one is around 629 price range, but these guys will be able to quote you accurately depending on what you guys want. Obviously it'll fluctuate. So I hope you guys enjoyed that sea trial today. I know we sure did. Please like and subscribe if you like this content and reach out with any recommendations, ideas of what you'd like to see here and we'll do our best to make it happen. Thank you once again. My name is Alan with Center Consoles Only.